A pleasant day to each and every one, especially to our panelists. We are here to present our study entitled A Comparative Study Between Citrus Limon Peel and Citrus Sinensis Peel as an, as an Alternative All-Purpose Cleaner. Together with my co-presenters Charles Angel Acer Don, Junjun Otabanera, Joshua P. Dolor, Daniela, De La, Daniela Gwinnett T. De La Cruz, and yours truly, Ruby Jane of Vasquez. Why did we choose this study? As we all know, cleaning products play an important role in our lives. It is used anywhere such as in home, school, office, and other more. Nonetheless, a particular cleaning product contains an essential chemical components for it to be effective. An example is the, is the sodium hypochloride. Even though cleaning products are effective, we can't hide the fact that the chemicals present in it can be harmful to humans. There are several studies about eco-friendly materials that can be an alternative cleaning product, including the lemon peel and orange peel. Despite of the effectiveness of both citrus fruit peels as an alternative cleaning product, there may be an occurring differences between the both of them, even they are both citrus fruits. This motivates the researchers to conduct a comparative study about lemon peel and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. To further introduce our topic, the purpose of our study is to analyze the occurring differences between lemon peel and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. Second, to know if there are significant differences between the two citrus fruits. And lastly, the researchers aim to determine if the amount or the number of lemon peels and orange peels will affect its effectiveness. This study will be beneficial not just to us but also for future researchers who will also conduct a study about lemon peel and orange peel. Furthermore, this study will help people to, de to determine the difference between lemon peel and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. In this presentation, we will tackle about the statement of the problem of our study, the experiment procedures, the results, the conclusion, and the things that we can re recommend to, uh, to the future researchers. Now, I will tackle the statement of the problem of our study. Statement number one. What is the state of citrus lemon peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner in terms of color, odor, and effectiveness? Number two. What is the state of citrus sinensis peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner in terms of color, odor, and effectiveness? Number three. How does the number of citrus lemon peels affect its effectiveness as an alternative all-purpose cleaner? Number four. How does the number of citrus sinensis peels affect its effectiveness as an alternative all-purpose cleaner? And number five. Is there a significant difference between citrus lemon peel and citrus sinensis peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner? To safely conduct the experiment, we use this procedure. First, prepare the materials. Second, remove the peels of the fruit. Third, place the peels inside the jar. Fourth, pour the distilled vinegar. Fifth, store for two weeks. Six, after storing, remove the peels. Seven, transport to spray bottle. And lastly, label the spray bottle. To present the results that we gather, I would like to start in research question number one. Research question number one. State of citrus lemon peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner in terms of color, odor, and effectiveness. In color, the color of set A and B of the lemon peel in order to present it clearer and accurately. Set A of the lemon peel appears to be in the Golden red yellow, but it seems to be darker and unclear. And for the set B, appears to be bronze color. Next, in odor. Set A and B have the same odor, 
Both sets seems to smell like a typical lemon. The smell of lemon peel is more dominant than the vinegar. So, it is not noticeable that the lemon peel was mixed with vinegar. And for the effectiveness, the table represents the 8 different things or home furniture that we use to test the set A of lemon peel. For the first trial, we prepared 5 ml of the lemon peel but the sink still looks dirty. This is why we decided to add 2.5 ml of the lemon peel to become clean. Using same strategy with first trial, which is the sink, we ended up using 5 ml for the toilet bowl, 1.25 ml for tube, 7.5 ml for cemented walls and tiles, 5 ml for rusty metals and stainless, 2.5 ml for plastic or plastic chair. We made sure that no bias occurred and all the data obtained were based on the researcher's observation. The state of the citrus seems to spill as an alternative all-purpose cleaner in terms of odor, color, and their effectiveness. In terms of color, in set A, the color of the product seems like goldenrod yellow. It is clearer and lighter than set B, which appear to be bronze color. In terms of odor, both sets have the same odor. It seems that these two vinegar are more dominant than the odor of orange peel, which make the product smell like vinegar. According to the future learn, they stated that the Orange peel are usually disposed of by burning, producing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, where waste from rotting peels percolates into the soil, which is harmful in plant life. These include the orange peel give oil that typically contain more than 90% of organic compound called limonin. From the study of Ame, S. and Abu Dizu of Ugubu, O. Entitled Essential Oil as Flavor in Carbonated Cola and Citrus Soft Drinks, the study declared that orange peel has the higher limonene than all citrus fruit. However, orange peel contains 3% citral that make distilled vinegar more dominant in odor. First, we tested our product on the sink and we only spent 10 ml of the product. Second, in toilet bowl, we only use 6.5 ml of the product. Next, in tube, we spend 2.5 ml. Then, the cemented wall, we use 6.5 ml of the product. And in tiles, we use 11.25 ml of the product. Then, in rusty metal, we spend 5 ml of the product. While in stainless, we only use 5 ml of the product. And lastly, we spend 1.25 ml of the product to clean plastic, specifically in the plastic chair. According to Shetty S. et al. in 2016, citrus sinensis fruit peel is effective as an antimicrobial agent and it is, has no bad effect in the future. The researcher made sure that they were objective and not biased on their product. Research question number 3. The effect of the number of citrus lemon peels to its effectiveness as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. We have here the table of effectiveness of lemon peel set A that has 4 lemons only, and set B that has 6 lemons. For example, set A is more effective than set B when used in sink, because 7.50 ml of citrus lemon peel is enough to clean the sink than set B that used 8.5 ml of citrus lemon peel. In floors or tiles, set B is more effective than set A. Surely, the 6.25 ml of citrus lemon peel is enough to clean the floors or tiles than set B that used 7.50 ml of citrus lemon peel. Research question number 4. The effect of the number of citrus sinensis peels to its effectiveness as alternative all-purpose cleaner. The table represent the data gathered from set A and set B of the experiment. Set A consists of orange peel from 4 regular size orange, while set B consists of orange peel from 4 large size orange. 
For the case of set A and set B, when it used in cemented walls, its appear to be effective using the same amount which is 6.25 ml. On the fifth horizontal column, the amount used in set A is 11.25 ml, while in set B, 6 ml was used. The set B of orange peel seems to be more effective than set A because it does not need a greater amount of orange peel to be effective. On the other hand, set A of the orange peel with the amount of 1.25 ml is more effective when it used in plastic, particularly in plastic chair. For the case of set A and set B, when it used in cement wall, it, it appears to be effective using the same amount, which is 6.25 ml. For research question number 5, the significance difference between citrus limon peel and citrus sinensis peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. In terms of their color, set A of lemon peel and orange peel appears to have the same color which is golden rod yellow. However, lemon peel seems to be unclear and darker compared to orange peel which is clear and lighter. On the other hand, set B of lemon peel and orange peel appears to have the same color which is bronze. Now let's proceed to their odor. Set A and set B of lemon peel have the same odor. Same situation with set A and set B of orange peel. As you can see from the table, lemon peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner appears to have a typical smell of lemon. Orange peel, on the other hand, it seems like the, the odor of the distilled vinegar is more dominant than the odor of the orange peel. The possible reason for this is that lemon peel is consists of 5% citral, while orange peel has 3% of citral only. For an additional information, citral is a citral is a mixture of two aldehyde compounds which are geranial and neral. Now let's go for their effectiveness. As you can see from the table, it, present, it represents the set A of lemon peel and orange peel. First and second column represents the amounts that the researchers used in lemon peel and orange peel. For the third column, it represents the difference between the amount of lemon peel and orange peel that were used by us. And for the fourth column, it, represent, it also represents the difference but in squared. We used the T-test formula which is square root of summation of D over N times summation of D squared minus summation of D squared my, over N minus 1. In order to get the degree of freedom, we used the formula n minus 1. So 8 minus 1 is equals to 7. And by computing the t-test, we got 0 0.42. We as the researchers set the confidence level into 95% and used two-tailed test. And by looking at the t-values, values, we got 2.365. And as you can see from the presentation, 2.365 is greater than 0 0.42. Therefore, we accept the null hypothesis. Now, for set B, we use the same strategy or procedure where, wherein we use the Titus formula, the formula for the degree of freedom, and we also set the confidence level for the confidence level into 95% and use detailed test. And upon looking on the t values we then got we then got 2.2365 by computing the t test we got 0 0.86 and again 2.365 is greater than 0 0.86 therefore we then accept the null hypothesis in summary for study in terms of color set a of lemon and orange peel appear to have the same color, which is golden rod yellow. However, set B of the citrus fruit appeared to be bronze color. In the matter of odor, lemon peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner is more fragrant than orange peel. And we also conclude that the number of citrus fruit 
pills doesn't improve the effectiveness of lemon and orange peel, but having the exact amount makes them more effective. Although lemon peel and orange peel are significantly different from each other, both of them are effective as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. The study conducted by the researchers concentrate on the occurring differences between lemon peel and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. The results came up with which states that there is significant differences between the two citrus fruits as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. If you want to clean anything in an eco-friendly way, then this study will help. The materials that are needed to conduct the, the experiment can be found at home and it helps to lessen the waste that the human produce since the material needed are the lemon peel and orange peel. The researchers would like to recommend the following in order to improve the future studies about lemon and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. The researchers suggest to use other additive material to lemon and orange peel. Instead of distilled vinegar, try to come up with another or alternative material like normal vinegar or apple cider. Future researchers could also try to mix both citrus fruits peels, lemon and orange, to make an alternative all-purpose cleaner. The researchers suggest to use an effective airtight jar wherein the air has 0% chance of entering the jar. This might help to some future researchers who will study about lemon peel and orange peel as an alternative all-purpose cleaner. The researchers recommend to try the product to many objects, specifically home furniture. Try to come up with 20 and above trials. Lastly, try the product in objects that have the same amount of dirt as much as possible in order to gain an accurate result. I'll end the presentation here. Again, I'm Joshua Padilla Dolor and on behalf of my co-researchers, we would like to express our gratitude to all who have watched and listened. Thank you.